Have you ever wondered why Wyoming has so few people? I mean, it's the 10th largest state in the US, yet it has the smallest population. What's the reason for that? Let's start with some quick facts. Wyoming, with its wide open spaces and stunning landscapes, is the 10th largest state in the United States. It's bigger than the six United Kingdom combined, or about three times the size of New York State. But when it comes to people, Wyoming is more like a ghost town. With about 576,000 inhabitants, it has a smaller population than the city of Milwaukee. This is not a new phenomenon. Wyoming has consistently ranked as the least populated state for decades. In fact, it has never had more than 600,000 inhabitants since it became a state in 1890. On the other hand, California, the most populous state, has almost 70 times as many people as Wyoming. Now, you might be thinking, maybe that's because Wyoming is mostly rural and doesn't have many urban centers. Well, you're not entirely wrong. Wyoming has a lot of rural land, but that's not the only reason for its low population. Alaska is much bigger and more rural than Wyoming. But it has a higher population. So what's going on here? Why does Wyoming, with all its natural beauty and vast landscapes, have fewer people than its neighboring states? Maybe Wyoming is a zombie apocalypse hotspot that we don't know about. Or could it be that Wyomingites prefer the peace and solitude of encountering a pronghorn antelope rather than people? I mean, is there something in the water? Is Wyoming secretly a zombie apocalypse hotspot? Let's dive in and find out. First, let's talk geography. Wyoming is a beautiful state, but it's no walk in the park. It's miles and miles of vast plains punctuated by rugged mountain ranges. The Grand Tetons, the Rockies, these are not just postcard images, they are real. And they're not just there for looks, folks. They pose a serious challenge to everyday life. Wyoming is the least populated state in the Union, but also the second highest. And they're not just there for looks, folks. They pose a serious challenge to everyday living. We're talking an average elevation of over 6,000 feet. That's like putting two Empire State Buildings on top of each other. Now this high altitude can really take a toll on your body. It's harder to breathe, the sun is more intense, and the weather can be unpredictable. One day you're basking in the sun and the next you're shoveling snow. Then there are the terrain conditions. These rocky slopes and wide open spaces are awe-inspiring, but city life is not so admirable. There are no subways or buses in the Wyoming wilderness. Instead, dirt roads and possibly a horse or two accompany you. The climate? As harsh as it is beautiful. Winters here are not for the faint of heart. We're talking sub-zero temperatures, biting winds and snow that can pile up to your waist. Summers, on the other hand, can be scorching, with temperatures often soaring into the 90s. Wyoming is one of the least populated states in America. That means fewer neighbors, fewer services, and a lot of solitude. So, unless you're a mountain goat or a hardcore outdoor enthusiast, Wyoming's geography can be a bit off-putting. It requires a certain flexibility, a willingness to adapt and to thrive in conditions that many would find challenging. But for those who are up to the task, it offers a unique and rewarding way of life. What about the economy? Surely there must be jobs in Wyoming, right? Well, let's take a closer look. Wyoming's economy is like a two-legged stool. Two major industries hold it up, mining and agriculture. I'm not talking about the kind of mining where you dig deep into the earth for coal and natural gas. No, I'm talking about the kind where you dig deep into the earth for coal and natural gas. What about agriculture, which means raising cattle and growing crops? These sectors have long been the backbone of Wyoming's economy, and they've done well. But here's the problem. These sectors can be as volatile as a rodeo bull. Coal, natural gas, and beef prices can fluctuate wildly from year to year. One year you're doing great, and the next year you're struggling to make ends meet. But wait, there's more. While these sectors are vital, they don't create jobs like others. Think about it. Once you start running a mine or a farm, you don't need a lot of people to keep things running smoothly. It's not a business like tech or finance where you need new blood and fresh ideas all the time. That's not to say there aren't other opportunities in Wyoming. The state has a thriving tourism industry thanks to its natural beauty, but it's still not exactly a job factory. Plus, tourism is seasonal, meaning it doesn't provide you with a steady paycheck all year. Well, what about starting a business, you might be thinking. Of course, this is an option, but remember, businesses need customers, and in a state with fewer people than a medium-sized city, finding enough customers can be a bit of a challenge. So, if you're not interested in digging coal or herding cattle, Wyoming's job market might leave you in the lurch. 
However, if you're a fan of wide open spaces and don't mind a little economic uncertainty, Wyoming might be the place for you. Okay, Wyoming is hard to live in and there aren't a lot of jobs. But what about the social scene? There must be something to do there, right? Not really. Think of it this way. You're a social butterfly, always looking for the next big event, the latest gallery opening, or the newest restaurant in town. Now transplant yourself to Wyoming. Suddenly, you're in a place where the biggest event might be a high school football game, the newest gallery opening might be a new exhibit at the local history museum, and the newest restaurant might be, well, maybe the new diner down the road. Wyoming is not exactly a cultural attraction. If you like opera, ballet, or world-famous art galleries, you might feel a little out of luck. The state has a fair number of museums, but they're mostly dedicated to local history or natural history, not so much to the arts. Still, that doesn't mean there's nothing to do in Wyoming. If you are an outdoor enthusiast, you are in luck. The state boasts an impressive array of outdoor activities, from hiking and camping to fishing and hunting. And let's not forget stargazing. Wyoming's low light pollution means that on a clear night, you can see the Milky Way in all its glory. But again, these are solitary pursuits and there is no lively sociability. Then there's the issue of diversity. Wyoming is one of the least diverse states in the country. This lack of diversity can lead to a lack of cultural amenities and events that cater to a wide range of tastes and interests. As a result, Wyoming's social scene is quite limited. So unless you like stargazing and hiking by yourself, Wyoming's social scene can make you feel a little lonely. There you have it. Wyoming is a beautiful, rugged, unique state, but it's not for everyone. It's not every day you come across a place that is a paradox, an enigma wrapped in a riddle, but that's Wyoming for you. Let's take a quick trip down memory lane, shall we? We've explored the geographical challenges Wyoming offers, a vast, wild state with a terrain as diverse as it is beautiful, mountain ranges, plains, seemingly endless wilderness. It's all part of Wyoming's charm, but it also makes it a challenging place to live. To thrive in such a rugged environment, you need a love of the outdoors and a certain resilience. Wyoming's economy is heavily dependent on a few key sectors, such as mining and agriculture. This can make it difficult to find a job unless you work in one of these sectors. And let's not forget the lack of urban amenities. Wyoming is one of the least populated states in the country, which means it lacks many of the amenities you can find in more populated areas. Then there's the social scene, or rather the lack of it. Wyoming is a place where you make your own fun. You won't find a bustling nightlife here or a plethora of restaurants and shopping outlets, but you will find a close-knit community of people who appreciate the simple things in life. Put it all together, and it's easy to see why Wyoming is not overflowing with people. This is a state that demands a lot from its residents, but gives a lot in return. Breathtaking scenery and a sense of community, the freedom to live life on your own terms, these are the things that make Wyoming special. Next time you wonder why so few people live in Wyoming, remember, it's not for the faint of heart or the easily bored. But for those who love the outdoors, it can be a paradise.